I'm Kev. And I'm Steve. And we're from the internet. Want to help us spread the we're from the internet word? Leaving us a five-star rating and review on iTunes and Stitcher would give us a nice little boost in the search results and help new listeners find us. What do you think the future holds for Nintendo in terms of hardware and first party? Nintendo. They should, I tell you what, first step, they should rename themselves Nintendo. <laughs> I like that. Is this a different company we should know about? I assume this is another video game question. They mean Nintendo. But nine, ten, what could not, what, what would Nintendo make? Of course, nine. Oh, I like that. No, what, is Do a word for 11 in That's any language? I was wondering. I was trying to think. But, um, Let's put it into Google Translate. They're getting at the phones, aren't they? Doing what? Making games for phones. Oh, are they? Can I get Mario on my phone now? I don't, Believe might be. I don't, I don't know. Um, oh, I, I remember I when I was in sixth form, one of the nerds programmed his scientific calculator to play the first you level of Super Mario. You told me this, and I don't see how. Um, well, he just programmed it in. I watched... I, I've played it on his phone. I'm, I'm going to Google it now and see if it's possible. So, super, not Super Nario. Super Mario Brothers. Calculator. <laughs> yeah. But that just seems mad. I mean, it surely doesn't have the processing power, but you, you saw go. it happen. Super Mario Brothers Calculator. It's just going to give me calculators. Oh, no, there you go. How to put Super Mario on a graphing calculator on YouTube. A graphing ca- calculator is a bit different. Yeah, well, it's a proper scientific calculator. Um, let's turn the sound off on that so that it... Oh, there you go. How to put Super Mario on your TIE 8.4 or TIE 8.3. Um, Could have done with that in maths exams, I guess. For, yeah, I don't I mean, need to I got see how the, to the do it. Crappy ones. I, um, I want to show you finished it working them in half an end. hour. And... I assume we're going to see it working at the end. No, of course we're not. It shows you how to do it. Because it's a nerd, and nerds don't need to see it working. Oh, there you go, look. You've got level one. And there it is, on a calculator. Super Mario Brothers. Wow. It's ridiculous, isn't it? Silly. But... Yeah, I don't I, understand when people do stuff like that. But so, what a maths nerd! He, he did go to Cambridge to do maths, um, but he did that back in 1999, um, the year that I tend not to speak of. Um, he did it back then, before YouTube existed. I assume he just did it. I don't think where where would you go for a tutorial for something like that back in the 90s? Games Master Magazine. They had tutorials for how to put Mario on a well, calculator. Well, probably. There's probably a story in there, and then you go on the internet, and there's some static web page that you dial up on 28K. Or did the internet exist back in 1999? I didn't Of course it. it did. Oh, did it? Yes. I didn't have it. Yeah. I didn't have a computer. I did. I didn't have a home. <laughs> I did. I was still living... 1999, that's yeah. when I started playing like Red Alert on the internet, on Westwood Chat. On what? Well, games had chat rooms associated with them. So you'd play the game, you'd go into a chat room and say, like, who wants to play this level? That sounds like a better These system rules. than what we have now. You'd just be kind of like, uh, I want to I wanna play 8v8 on map, whatever. Let's all meet up, join now, and then you just kick loads of strangers out. And basically, it, it turned to the point where all the nerds were just saying, I want to play with five pretty girls. So that's why it doesn't work that well anymore, because yeah. the perverts got involved. Mm-hmm. The perverts spoiled it for everybody, as usual. What was the question? I can't remember what the question was. Nintendo, what are they going to do? Who cares? Um, yeah, yeah I mean, I, they're finished, aren't they? They're... They'll come up with something. They always do. Never rule Nintendo out, is the big phrase. But Yeah, but there come comes up... a point where you have to. People thought the same thing about Sega, and they ballsed it all up. And then... Surely Nintendo have done a Sega style ballsing it all up because the Wii U was a catastrophe and it was mm. just a stupid idea. They're being propped up by the 3DS. That's not going to last forever. I can never understand. The new 3DS is a Wii U style catastrophe because they're starting to bring out games that are only for new 3DS and I haven't got one. Have you got one? Are no. you going to get one? No. Exactly. So they're, they're now fragmenting that market as well. And it do seem a very badly run company. They've just ballsed it all up. They've sagered it. But how hard is it? It's not that hard to run a bloody company properly, is it? Really? I think it's if hard. You're that big? It's hard to compete with Microsoft and Sony and the amount of marketing budget they but have. But it's to not really. I always think this about big stuff. Like, they've got far more money than Nintendo. But has. it's always a market. What I'm saying is they've got fans. So, but not enough fans. But they have. They're just being stupid. They just invest in stupid things. <laughs> 
They do, yeah. though. I mean, they own the rights to Sonic. They should make a decent... Well, kind of. So they, should, they don't at all. So they have him on their games. They, they, own, they have they him on Nintendo. They license him sometimes. Yeah, license him. So they should make a decent Sonic game. They should make more Mario games. Instead of releasing one a decade, or whatever it is But they the do. thing that makes Mario games good is the amount of love and care and awesome that gets poured into. If they started churning out one every six months... Well, no, not, I don't mean, like, doing Call of Duty with it. But I mean, like, bringing one out every two, three years. Surely they'd bring them out when they're ready. If, if they, they just did Mario Galaxy out. 3 now, that would just save them. You know, uh, if they made proper games again, like on top, instead of just living off their old ones as well, they should just be on a, on, a, on a loop. They should just do Donkey Kong, Mario, Zelda. That is all they do. That is all quicker. they do. That, that can, and adding better can, new things. I don't know. So on the Wii U, we've had two proper Mario games, Mario Kart game, um, a couple of Zelda re-releases. I don't think there's been a proper Zelda game on there yet, but they've been quite regular. They made that crummy zombie game, didn't they? That was rubbish. Yeah, well, they didn't make it. Well, they released it. Sorry, made it, but yeah, I don't know. They just they, they messed up massively by bringing out something that was no more powerful than an Xbox 360 just before the PS4 and the Xbox One came out. It was a stupid idea. The stupid so controller thing the is world. stupid. They seem to just be blind to the fact that if you want to use a tablet with a game, everyone has an iPad now, and they work with Xboxes and Playstations. So that completely wiped out anything that was unique about the Wii U. They were too slow bringing the um, the NFC stuff to market. Again, when Skylanders was exploding, they could have brought out the Amiibo stuff then, mm-hmm. um, and they'd have and made a killing. So they, let, they brought it out two years too late. It's too expensive, and it doesn't really work with anything. It just allows you to look a little bit different in Smash Brothers or Mario Kart. It doesn't. It doesn't do anything. There's no actual game around it, and they just seem to have completely lost their minds. The new 3DS. I don't understand what that's about at all. Um, just bring out a new handheld console completely. Don't confuse people. Calling it new 3DS is just stupid. They are a stupid company. They, they, they I love them. Like, I loved them as, uh, uh, growing up. I, I've had everything. The only console of theirs I've never owned is an N60. Actually, no, I've got one at home. <laughs> I've owned every console of theirs. Um, I've never owned a Super Nintendo. That's the only one I've not had. I almost didn't own an NES, but I got one. Um, My brother had a Super Nintendo, so I never needed one. Yeah. But I've owned all of them, I think. And I do genuinely think they're brilliant, but they're really, really good. They need to, both of them and Gadget Show need to hire me. Well, I'm and Sega. I'm sat here thinking, hopefully, at some point, we'll just be able to buy a Nintendo for a quid and sort them out. That'd be nice, wouldn't it? Call him Kevin Steve Tendo. We'll call him Nintendo. Yeah, should we just start our own company, Nintendo? They'll just end up licensing Mario games to somebody else, which is pretty much what they must be doing. They can't do that. That's that. It, they're finished. Then the only reason I own Nintendo cons, uh, uh, Nintendo home console at the moment, I have the 3DS just for Street Pass. But the only reason I own a Wii U is to play Mario games, and if I could play them on anything else, mm. I would never buy another Nintendo console. So that would they would be signing their own death warrant if they license. That's that all they've got else. to make money with. They'll make less money in the long run because they won't. They won't. I buy other Nintendo games because I have the console now. If I don't have the console, I won't buy any of their other games. I wouldn't have bought a Wonderful One Hundred and One if I didn't have the Wii U sat there to try it on, or Pikmin Three. I wouldn't have bothered with these games if I hadn't bought the Wii U just so, to play Mario on it. I know we're running out of time, but the biggest reason I think they aren't doing very well with the publicity and the marketing and all that sort of stuff. When I try and get reviews from them. They only give a limited number out to people for two weeks maximum, and you have to send it back. So it makes it a right ball lake to borrow games and review them. Plus, you can't sell them on eBay afterwards. Yeah, which would limit some podcasts out. Want to get every episode of We're From The Internet at least a day earlier than the iTunes and Stitcher folk? Head over to we'refromtheinternet.com slash pledge to support us on Patreon, and as well as early access, we'll throw in an exclusive weekly show just for our patrons too. 